the Smiley Minute. I actually got hit on at the food court uh, in the mall today, and the lady's pickup line was so lame. Uh, it was, uh, uh, free egg roll sample, sir? <laughs> so desperate. Let's get to the news. This first news item was sent in by Lisa Loftus. A mother left her four children at home when she, wait for it, went on vacation. I left my kids home alone one time to go to the store, and I came back, and we had a new pet duck and a stain in the carpet that looked like Al Gore. I can't imagine the damage kids could do in over a week. This lady was from Iowa, so I totally get her wanting to leave the state, but, I mean, seriously, you can watch your dog run away for a week. I know that's an old joke, but Iowa's pretty flat. And it's not like she just went to, like, a bed and breakfast. She left her four children at home to go vacation in Europe. Europe. That's like a whole other country, sort of. This news item says the 30-year-old mother left two 12-year-olds. First of all, you have two 12-year-olds, you, you need to get Netflix or another hobby. Um, but she left two 12-year-olds, a 7-year-old, and a 6-year-old, a 6-year-old at home while she was away in, oh, this actually says Germany. I thought, it, I thought she was going to Europe. And Dad's the one who helps us with our geography homework. This mother says that she left the U.S. September 20th and was not planning on coming back until October 1st. I'm guessing because that's when the pumpkin spice latte comes out. Police say she had no plan for child care, but she did leave her kids, wait for it, a firearm. Can you imagine a mom saying to your kids, hey, I'm going to be gone for a little while, but I packed you a lunch and a handgun. Story gets worse. The father is actually the one that called the police. Yeah, well, how about being a father in their lives instead of just calling the police to take care of them? Ugh. Sorry, it's a huge pet peeve of mine. And why is it called a pet peeve? If it's, a peeve is bad, that shouldn't be a pet. Anyway, the story isn't funny, but I just wanted to remind parents, that's your most important job. Step it up. Caitlin Jackson also let me know in Henderson, Kentucky, a man robbed a restaurant in a Coca-Cola costume. Wow, this smiley minute has a lot of alliteration. This dude walked in with a full Coca-Cola costume and holding a handgun, which is horrible. I mean, I would have panicked. That much soda is really bad for you. Side story, I have a show coming up where I'm doing it for a whole vegan group, and I'm really dying to know if they're going to throw organic tomatoes at me. Anyway, the Coca-Cola guy got away with $500, and the police are now looking for him. I suggest they look on the side of freeways everywhere. I see a ton of them there. Give a hoot, don't pollute. Wow, that's an old motto. And finally, my friend B.E. Robinson sent me this gruesome story. A couple in the U.K. was using a dating site to lure people in to their home so they could, wait for it, eat them. Like 30 people in the U.K. I, I don't want to be eaten by anybody, but especially not people with bad teeth. That would take forever. Trust me, dating sites are already scary enough with their fake or doctored photos. I mean, I've shown up on dates expecting to meet somebody that looked like Anne Hathaway, and turns out she looked like Anne passed away. So it, this, is, this story is just kind of a reminder that it's a crazy world out there. You guys need to be really careful. Anyway, that's the most interesting news that was sent to me. Um, so now if everyone will either stand or kneel for the national anthem. Now seriously, keep sending me news at bob at bobsmiley.com. Huge thanks to Sam Beeman for the cool intro this time. Uh, you artists, you send me a smiley minute intro if you're not too busy, you know, boarding a flight to Germany or trying to hide your Coca-Cola costume. And as always, I hope you guys are smiling a lot, or at least for a minute today.